What's up guys, how are you all doing? Today we will be looking at how to control GPIO on a Raspberry Pi using a different OS system. Yes, we will be checking out today how to use the Windows IoT core system and write custom code to control your GPIO. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, stay tuned because it's coming up right here, right now on MI Sperry. What's up, guys? All right, so to get started with this, we're going to do this in a quick fashion. Uh, I've got a link to this uh, great post that shows you uh, pretty much how to put this all together. However, there are a few pitfalls that I ran into that I'm going to try to run over briefly with you guys. So first things first, you need to connect your Raspberry Pi up in this manner. If you're going to use this exact uh, code and tutorial, um, you hook it up in this manner with an LED and just a small, I don't know, 470 ohm uh, uh resistor that's all that i used so hook it up like this goes to the pin one and i believe pin 20 something whatever that is one two three four five six pins from the end basically on that that's how you hook it up okay and then first things first you need to download uh visual studio 2017 is what i'm using community version because it's free and once you download that and just install the basic install once you get it up you're going to create a new project uh, you can use a blank project. We'll just call this uh, test blank. Once we do this, yes, you will use the build that you used on your Raspberry Pi, which mine's 15063 at this per current time. Okie dokie. Oh, once this project comes up, you'll first thing you'll do is you'll go over here to references. You need to add some references. So we're going to go right click, choose add references. Go down here to Windows Universal Extensions. We want to use the Windows IoT extension. So we want to mark that and hit OK. So that way it adds our basically extensions and our libraries and whatnot. The next thing we'll need to do is we'll need to edit this main page XAML. So right click on that, choose View Code, and this begins our code. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a previous uh, solution that I did uh, to make this quicker. I will now this is where it gets uh, interesting is you have to know what your device is. I have my device hooked up and I am at this 48880. You log in administrator. Log into your Raspberry Pi that you have the Windows IoT core on, you know, into your dashboard. You'll go over here to debug, default debug uh, settings. Now down here, usually this isn't started. Here, I'm going to stop it so you can see what it looks like. So you're going to come to your project, go down to your project properties, and under debug, you're going to put in whatever address that, get it back up here whatever address this Visual Studio debugger gives you. Start the debugger. Now it's going to give you an IP address, all right? So you're going to copy that and put that in for this address. And then once you do... You want a Thank you. Okay, so once you have uh, started that, you're going to check out this IP address that it gives you. <coughs> Excuse me. And that... Uh, is what you're going to use. You're going to copy that, and then you will paste it in right here into the remote machine in the debug settings on your uh, Visual Studio. All right, so now you should be able to deploy this. Now, there's one thing. Uh, I've already I've already done this, so it comes up uh, pretty fast on me, but when you click this, you will get a settings menu that looks something like this. And it says for developers. This is a very key piece. It will not deploy properly if you do not have developer mode set. Normally it's on, I think, sideload apps, but you need the developer mode to be able to deploy it to the Windows platform. So once we got that set, then I hit our deploy. I don't want to cut this, so it might be a little long, but I do want to show uh, it installing. So we have updating the layout. And then here comes the debugger. All right. So now if we look down below, our light is now blinking. I'll show over here and point to it. So the light is now blinking. And we have our debugger going. So you can actually debug. All right. So once you do that, now if you've got your debug settings set and everything, here's all your debugger stuff up here. I'm going to go ahead and stop the running of the program. All right. And now I feel that things are good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to release. And I'm going to deploy it to the remote machine 
permanently. So that way it'll it won't run in a debugging state. It'll just deploy it. Then I'll show you how to start it once it deploys. Okay, so now the deploy has succeeded. I'm going to go ahead and stop this because it just goes ahead and runs it. But now that it has succeeded, I can go back. And instead of on debug, I'm going to go back to my dashboard, okay? And I'm going to go back to, uh, let's see, we're going to go to apps. I'm going to go to apps manager, and you should see it in your apps manager now. So there it is. There's my bling K. And what you can do is you can set it to uh, start at startup. That's actually kind of nice. You click this radial button and it'll start it up at startup. Or you can come over here and choose an action and choose start. And there it is. Now it is blinking right down here. And you can always go back and choose the action to stop it from blinking. So there it all is. All right, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to check out the in-depth video of watching me go through this for the first time ever, you can check that out, a link at the end of the video, as well as check those links out down below, uh, different support links and whatnot. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share these videos because it really helps the channel out and brings more uh, information your way. Stay tuned. I'll be doing another video soon on uh, how to get Cortana to start these things up and run your programs that you make. So, guys, if you liked it, hit the like button. Make sure and follow me on all the social medias and everything that are down below and on my channel. And guys, I will see you next time. <laughs>